guys welcome back here we go down the road at half the speed we need beautiful sunny day so as you seen from the title you know why you're here so what do you get when you take Peter Fonda and Nancy Sinatra and put them together in the movie you get 1967's the Wild Angels. All right, guys. Uh, like I said, you take those two and you put them together and you end up with the Wild Angels. Now, I did a video on Easy Rider, and of course I did Dinner Ho Dennis Hopper's movie Glory Stompers. Now, The Wild Angels is a radically different movie than what Easy Rider and the Glory Stompers were. Uh, and it's, you know, both uh, Dennis Hopper and Peter Fonda were very political and you know there was a lot going on in the uh, uh, 60s you had the hippie movement going on and glory stompers and easy even easy rider wasn't really all that kind of political they were more just the hippie biker movies but uh, the wild angels was a little bit different uh, it had a little bit different feel and the reason that it was so different compared to uh, the Glory Stompers and Easy Rider. Well, uh, the Wild Angels was more of a uh, stereotypical movie where, you know, the characters and the motorcycle club and all was just stereotypical of what Hollywood and the media considered motorcycle riders to be. If you were outside the AMA, which they classified everybody as outlaw if you were not in the uh, AMA you were the one percenter and of course the Wild Angels now took the whole outlaw biker thing and took it to a whole new level and what I mean by that is uh, the storyline is just totally separate from what uh, the other two movie storylines were uh, so what you had in the Wild Angels was you had Peter Fonda of course Nancy Sinatra played his uh, girlfriend and uh, they end up on this crazy adventure they go after a stolen chopper that had been taken across the border into Mexico and they end up in a fight with the uh, people who stole the motorcycle they end up having trouble with the police uh, and the uh, guy who ends up getting shot still in a police bike and then what essentially happens is you have Peter Fonda and the rest of his club members going and breaking this guy out of the hospital and uh, th from there it's just melee but the political side of this movie this movie is not if you know if you if you've got certain feelings about things you're not going to really enjoy this movie and this movie wasn't the smash sensation that the that uh easy rider was and it wasn't even really i don't think personally i don't think it was a smash sensation that glory stompers was now i still think glory stompers was a better movie but it, it's worth a look uh you know you end up with a little bit more of the uh, outlaw stuff in the wild angels of course but when i say that it's just stereotypical of what was being reported in the news at the time and how people actually viewed motorcycle culture uh and this movie really didn't help the case of real bikers who were actually not the stereotypical burn your house down come through your town rape your women you know everything they're doing is outlaw this was not that but 
you know, the, this movie really didn't help the case out none, is what I'm trying to get at. So, but the end of the movie, and I went back and rewatched this movie. Uh, I had a rainy evening. I rewatched it a few days ago, and it had been a long time since I watched this movie, and I had forgotten a lot of what the movie was about. And, and uh, the ending of the movie, I. I personally didn't like it I didn't like what they were doing I didn't like what was symbolized in the end of the movie but it was still worth the watch it's still a cult classic movie uh, you know if you get a chance go check it out uh, it's called the wild angels and it's got a big following I'm not gonna say it's not as big as you know it, it has its own following but uh, it's a little bit more raw, I guess is the word I'm trying to find is raw. It's just a little, it's just a lot more raw than what the other two movies were. Uh, and, and again, at that time, because the 60s, by the time you get to 67 and 68, the, the landscape in America was starting to change a lot. Things were changing and uh, of course, 1969, everybody gives Charles Manson the credit for killing the 60s because of the uh, Tate LaBianca murders and what the Manson family did. Of course, that that all came down at the same time and the culture itself from the 60s into the 70s, uh, uh, again, the, the country was changing. And, uh, you know, Peter Fonda and Jane Fonda were both pretty controversial. They both had certain feelings toward the war in Vietnam and what was going on overseas and you know, Jane Fonda does not have a big fan base now because of uh, the tactics that she she was doing. And, of course, Peter felt the same way as she did, but he was just not as... He didn't put it out on Front Street for everybody to see. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a Peter Fonda fan. I'm not going to lie. I'm a fan of, fan of Peter Fonda. Uh, I just didn't think that The Wild Angels was his best work. Uh, if that makes sense but uh, you know like I said it, it, it's a movie worth checking out if you're into old cult classic movies uh, it's definitely straight out of the 60s of course the language and the, the way they talk uh, you just had to be living in that time kind of like I said on the glory stompers video but uh, guys it's a beautiful day I hope you've gotten out and gotten a chance to enjoy it today I thought I'd come out and get a little video shot, do a little ride, and give you a little bit of review on that movie. Uh, so, uh, that's it. Uh, this has been T-Bone's Southern Ride.